Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan. This man is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and this is my warning to everyone about him. A few weeks ago, I got a message from someone out of the blue. It was a surprise to hear from Axel. That's not his real name. I was shocked to hear what he told me. He told me that he had just left my old pastor's new church. My old pastor, Peter Tan, who now has a new name, Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan. About 30 years ago, Johann Melchizedek Peter had started a church called Tabernacle of Glory in Kuala Lumpur, which I attended. Back then, he was simply known as Peter Tan and not the grandiose name Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan. He was exposed of having an affair with a young girl and fled to Australia. It is alleged that he fled to avoid prosecution by Malaysian law. I thought that that was the end of that until I heard that he had started several churches in Singapore and other countries called Cathedral of Glory. See the connection between Tabernacle of Glory and, and the Cathedral of Glory? Uh, this was about 10 years later after the sexual misconduct that he had in Malaysia. Then reports of Johann Melchizedek Peter proclaiming prophecies that have been proven to be wrong and several sexual mis misconducts started to surface. Axel was a member of Johann Melchizedek Peter's new Cathedral of Glory Church. He finally saw the light and left after a few years. As far as I know, Johann Melchizedek Peter has never repented and has continued repeating the same sins. Till today, as far as he is concerned, he has not done anything wrong. Let's talk about Johann Melchizedek Peter, the sexual predator. The most detailed report of Johann Melchizedek Peter's sins are in a 33-page report by Martin Tapia Zuckerman, a Cathedral of Glory leader. You can read it and download his report at my blog at the end of the post. I read the entire report a few, weeks, a few weeks ago. Zuckerman says he has proved that Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan tried to seduce several girls, including a Korean girl, a Myanmar girl, and the young wife of a church leader. The young wife of a church leader. When confronted, of course, he denied any wrongdoing. Still, ex-leaders of Cathedral of Glory have copies of the email that Johann Melchizedek Peter sent to these girls sexually explicit writings detailing the kinds of sex he would like to have with them. I think that Dr. Mann has done his due diligence in unearthing Johann Melchizedek Peter's sins. I really can't keep saying his long name, but what can I do, right? He, 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 he has this weird, grandiose name. Uh, okay, I'll try my best okay, to, to keep saying his, his, his crazy name. Anyway, Zuckerman's report is quite detailed. I would encourage you to read it yourself. Many Cathedral of Glory leaders and members have left Johann Melchizedek Peter's church in Australia and Singapore. But sadly, there are still some members who continue to believe him and support him. Please do not mistake their support as proof of Johann Melchizedek Peter's innocence. After all, Cults like Jim Jones have many followers. In the case of Jim Jones, they all met a gruesome death. This video serves as a warning to those who still support Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan. Today, Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan is divorced. Thinking back on Peter Tan's modus operandi 30 years ago and the Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan now, I can see that he has not changed at all. He is still a very manipulative man, very persuasive, clever with his words, and unashamed to use the name of God to his advantage. Now, while a 
God-fearing Christian would be afraid to misuse the name of God and err on the side of caution when it comes to scripture, Johann Melchizedek Peter is unafraid of such things. He will proclaim nonsense and half-truths as if they were fact. He is so deluded that he is convinced that God got down from his holy throne and asked him to sit on it. Johann Melchizedek Peter is so convinced he will be seated at the right hand of God that he wrote it in his self-written biography, The Road to Glory. Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan would be in his mid-60s in this year 2021. Now let's talk about Johann Melchizedek Peter, the false prophet. In the early 2000s, Johann Melchizedek Peter supported a prophecy for the 2016 US elections. The prophecy declared Martin O'Malley, Democrat, would win it and become president for two terms. You can see the screenshot in my blog post. History has proven otherwise. Trump, Republican, won the 2016 elections and Biden, Democrat, won the 2020 elections. O'Malley did not even stand for president. Not only did Johann Melchizedek Peter proclaim this false prophecy, but he did not even have word of knowledge that it was a false prophecy. He has not repented of it, but has tried to explain his errors. Actually, I had no intention of doing this video, but I really felt that I should. I hope this will serve as a warning to others to avoid Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan and save themselves. I feel it is only right that people be warned about this dangerous wolf in sheep's clothing. Jesus himself warned, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. The Gospel of Matthew 7.15 King James Version. I strongly recommend those who wish to escape from the grip of Peter of Johann Melchizedek Peter Tan to do the following. Do not speak to him alone. Do not see him one to one or speak to him on the phone. This man is very persuasive. Do not entertain any contact from him. Example emails, WhatsApp messages, etc. It is best to block him. Do not entertain Johann Melchizedek Peter's pastors, proxies and assistants. He may send his proxy to see you under the guise of sending you a blessing or personal prophecy. You should seek counsel and advice from ex-leaders of Tabernacle of Glory or Cathedral of Glory. They know the inside story and they have a duty to protect the sheep. I wish you all the best in your Christian walk and may you be safe always.